2021 was a record year for cryptocurrency. The market cap hit $3 trillion, the SEC approved its first Bitcoin ETF, and NFTs hit million-dollar values. It appears safe to say digital currency is now mainstream. Here are five numbers that really defined crypto this year, and what they mean going into 2022. The first, 11. That's the estimated portion of gold's $11 trillion market cap that's been reached by Bitcoin. When Bitcoin hit its most its all-time high of over 68,000 just a, about a month ago, uh, Bitcoin's total market cap, which was over a trillion dollars itself, reached 11% of, of all of gold, which was the highest that it had ever been. And, uh, and given that Bitcoin is seen in many circles as an inflation hedge, uh, store value, a digital gold to gold 2.0, a lot of people are paying attention to that metric and seeing if it's going to climb in the years ahead. Although Bitcoin is often described as digital gold, it still trades wildly, which may not make it the most attractive choice for someone looking for a worry-free asset. And with the Federal Reserve looking to accelerate its tapering schedule in response to rising inflation, Bitcoin may need a new value proposition in 2022 that doesn't rely on easy money from Washington. Next is the number 123.02. That's the estimated yearly energy consumption of Bitcoin miners in terawatt hours. According to the Bitcoin Electricity Consumption Index at Cambridge University, this is about the same amount of energy used by middle-income countries such as Argentina and Norway. This has opened up a debate about Bitcoin's carbon footprint and what can be done to mitigate it. Um, other networks such as Ethereum and Zcash, which were based on similar energy intensive, uh, what's known as consensus mechanisms, are switching or advocating a switch to something that's a much more energy efficient. But Bitcoin, is, the Bitcoin community is much more obstinate and, and they really feel that switching would harm the overall value proposition. There's two things I'd point out, um, which I find kind of annoying. We're, we're comparing a, a, a payment rail and asset class as one. Um, with countries, um, which is almost as close to an apples and oranges comparison as you can get. Um, if you look at something that's a little more comparable, like the global financial system um, or the, uh, the cost to mine actual gold, um, the comparison is almost impossible to make. And the reason why it's almost impossible to make is because we don't have the numbers on that. The global financial system does not share its energy consumption. Uh, the gold producers of the world do not share how much it costs to mine their gold. Um, it, it, I, I like to think that if you did an apples to apples comparison there, the cost of Bitcoin wouldn't be quite as, as bad as some of those other uh, older and more accurate comparisons. The third number is 233,276. That's the floor price in US dollars for a Bored Ape Yacht Club monkey part of a collection of NFTs which really took off this year, despite one key criticism. Anyone can right click and save if they, if they really want it, but if you want to prove ownership of it, it's going to cost you six figures. And, and to me, that shows one, the frothiness of the industry, but also the excitement. And, and in some ways it does a disservice because it also hides a lot of really interesting innovation and work that's being done behind the scenes to make NFTs much more useful and, and a real critical part of our digital economy moving forward. The fourth number is 6,332,380,000. That's the total amount in US dollars for funding raised by cryptocurrency companies over the 10 largest investment rounds this year. Two of the biggest were crypto service provider NYDIG raising $1 billion and FTX raising a $900 million Series B. The fifth number is 12 billion. That's about how many US dollars were raised in 2021 to build the metaverse a virtual reality layer to the internet. Leading the pack was Epic Games, which hauled in $1 billion to ensure its games weren't displaced by open source competitors built on top of blockchains. The metaverse and the NFT world are also beginning to converge. In April, Forbes sold the first NFT magazine cover for $333,333. Called Masters of the Metaverse, it depicted the Winklevoss twins who later raised $400 million to build out their cryptocurrency exchange and invest in a number of metaverse-related projects. They had secretly, or not so secretly, but discreetly been investing um, in the, the, the building blocks of an internet that didn't require centralized servers, um, which ended up being what we now consider fundamental to the existence of this metaverse or a, a, 
a video game like layer of the internet uh, where instead of going to websites, you can go to virtual locations. Um, the, Ty Tyler and Cameron really positioned themselves as uh, early investors in the space by taking a lead in the NFT category. Um, I, I like to think of NFTs as more than just digital assets, but the building blocks of this virtual world for years to come.